Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm filming this very impromptu video because I literally just signed up for Bonnie Christie's version. Like, uh, <laughs> I just did it, like, literally 60 seconds ago before I hit record on my phone. So I imagine if you are watching this video, you probably know what Bonnie Christine's immersion class is, but just in case you don't, it's this eight week long, incredibly in-depth course on surface pattern design. Bonnie Christine is like the industry leader in surface pattern design, but beyond that, she is like somebody I really trust and I really put my faith in her. I came across Bonnie last, I mean, her marketing, her marketing techniques work very well. Like she's thought this out really well and it worked great on me. Um, but basically I came across Bonnie in November of 2022 through an Instagram ad. And I was like, I had heard about creating repeating patterns. I did not know about surface pattern design, like the actual application of these patterns in the real world. But I was interested in creating repeating patterns because I was like very early on in my kind of watercolor journey. And I was like trying to branch away from pet portraits, which is what I had been doing. And I was like, okay, let me see like what else I can do with this. And I was like, I wanna try and create these patterns and Bonnie found me through Instagram ads and so I, I did her free course. I think it was a free five-day service pattern design course back in November and I was super hooked. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. My patterns were horrible. They were not good at all, but I was like, this is wild that you can do this. Um, and I knew, you know, I would get better with practice and everything, but I literally, since then, I have not been able to get out of my head. Like, I, I dream about <laughs> surface pattern design. Like, I literally wake up, like, thinking about how to move things around to create a seamless pattern and stuff. Like, I still, to this day, this is still happening. And so between November and now, I've been working a lot on you know, creating my own patterns with the resources I have and just like practicing using my paintings and creating stuff digitally and like trying to do a bunch of different techniques. If you're interested in that, I have this series that I'm working on called Big Goals, Little Steps, where I'm talking through like my big goals that I have for my business and the little steps that I'm taking to get to that point. And recently it's been a lot of surface pattern design work and like playing with different techniques and stuff. But anyway, for a long time I had thought, well, since November basically, I had thought that I was gonna try and work hard to do this immersion course next year in 2024. Because for me, I mean, it's a huge investment. It's like a $2,000 course. So I didn't take it lightly at all. And I really thought it's something I would do next year. I was like, I'd save up and then I would work on my art practice and improve my skills and do whatever I can in the meantime. But I've been thinking about it a lot. And obviously Bonnie's marketing like works well for those purposes, but she just had a free workshop last week. Hang on, I'm gonna go get my microphone because my radiator is being really loud and I'm hoping that this will fix it. So please hold. Okay, I'm back with my microphone. Hopefully any kind of background noise is a little bit better now, but as you can see, this is not like a pre-planned video at all or anything like that. I'm just really excited because I did just sign up for the class and so I have thoughts and things I want to share with you. So here we are. Thanks for hanging with me while I um, <laughs> figure out this spontaneous video. So as I was saying before, my initial thought process was that I was going to take 2023 to like prepare and improve and practice and then I would take immersion in 2024. And that was my plan for a while, but over the past couple weeks, like already just with the consistent and like kind of intense amount of work that I've been putting into my pattern making, I've already seen a lot of improvement and I imagine it's gonna keep getting better, you know? Like I'm gonna keep getting faster, figuring out workflows, developing my own signature style, that kind of thing. And so, you know, as I've kind of done this and then Bonnie had another free workshop last, like the past two weeks that I attended as well, I realized that I'm ready. And I think that like, you're never gonna feel like you're 100% ready like I was just reading actually Amy Porterfield's new book and she said something in there but she's like you ever have someone here say like you're never ready to have a baby 
Um, I can't say I've had a lot of people in my life say that before, <laughs> but I have heard it for sure. And like the idea behind that is just like, there's never the right time to do something like that. And it's, it's similar to this too, where like this course could be a game changer and has been a game changer for a lot of people. And for me, it's an investment in myself and it's an investment in my business. And really the most important thing is like, it's an investment in my dream. And my dream is to like live a creatively fulfilling life and a life Life that I wake up every day feeling happy and inspired and you know a life where I'm able to cultivate joy and rest and be able to put my best self into the world and not a life of exhaustion and burnout and a lack of inspiration I want to be able to live a life where I see beauty and create beauty and kind of hold a lot of joy to my heart throughout my life. And maybe that's a lot to say to expect that I would get this from like an online course. <laughs> but I have been listening to Bonnie for the past several months and to her community and the people who have been through this before me and I've seen what they've been able to do and what they've been able to accomplish. And I think that when you're driven and when you're focused and, and you have a goal, I think it's it's really possible to get there. And the thing with this course is that you get a roadmap to reach these goals. If your goal is to do something in service pattern design, you get a step-by-step -step kind of roadmap of like what you need to do, where you are now and what you need to do in order to get there. And it's amazing what people have done with that information. And I know that every year more and more is added to the course anyway. So yeah. Okay. So some real talks about kind of the emotions that I went through when signing up for this course, which I know, let me hear me out. I know that if you aren't in this world of like surface pattern design, if you've never heard of Bonnie Christine, if you're my friends and family who are watching this, this is going to sound wild to you. And you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I did go through a lot of different emotions before like taking the plunge and deciding to like click <laughs> yes, sign me up. Honestly, earlier today, I like, I don't know, do any of you play Sims where you can um, go stand and like hype yourself up in the mirror? I forgot what they call it in Sims, but that's, I've never done that before in my life. But today I stood in my bathroom and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, this is your dream. Like this is the life that you want to have and that you want to create. And if you wait a year for this, you're just delaying your dreams. And I was in there in my bathroom for like five minutes, just like talking to myself, helping, hyping myself up. And <laughs> it really helps me. But like, I was also watching some of the testimonials and stuff that Bonnie has kind of put together from folks who have taken the class before. And there was somebody who said, <laughs> one of the most important things or impactful things that have come that's come into her life after taking this course is that Bonnie or this class or this career or whatever has brought joy into her life again and something about when she said that like really hit me and I I was like crying I had tears like running down my face watching this video which anyone who knows me knows that like I'm not a super emotional person generally <laughs> I'm trying to get better about that. I'm trying to be more emotional, but that really hit me because I was like, it's not that I don't live a life full of joy, but I live a life of people pleasing and of grinding and of burnout and of exhaustion. And joy has not historically been my top priority. <laughs> um, and it's it's sad to see that you know oh my goodness <laughs> wow i've never cried um on a youtube video before but seeing these people who <laughs> have brought joy into their lives intentionally um it's such a beautiful thing you know and that comes in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people, you know? Like, joy doesn't necessarily come from this, from creating art or a career in creativity for everybody. But for me, having gone through 25 years of people pleasing, it's only now that I've started to think about like, what brings me joy? Like, what do I want with this one precious life that I have? And, and that's been like a crazy thing to start to think like that like um i know i'm i'm kind of rambling here and obviously i didn't plan out this video at all and a lot's happening here 
<laughs> but it's amazing to me that I haven't even done the course and it's already had such a profound impact on me just to see the life that people lead and the life that's possible when you take a leap and you actively walk towards something that that brings you joy and I've never had anything in my life light me up the way that this world of like surface pattern design has for me. I remember back in November when I did that free workshop and I was I couldn't sleep at night. I was laying in bed like just thinking and dreaming about all the possibilities that could come from this and and just like even thinking about the actual pattern creation. I, I couldn't even fall asleep because my, my brain was so alive and awake. And even back then in November, I remember having this realization of like, I don't remember ever feeling like this since I was a child. <laughs> like I, I'm a very academic person historically. I uh, was deep in eco academia and never once in my years in academia did I feel like that where I was so excited by whatever I was doing or the possibilities or what's coming next. When I was in that world, I went to bed every night exhausted with no thoughts, no ideas. I remember throughout those years too, people would talk, you know, about shower thoughts. And I was like, when I take a shower, there's nothing there. I stare at the wall and go through the motion of taking a shower and I, my brain is not awake or alive. And so when I was laying in bed back then in November and I was like feeling these dreams and like feeling, um, <laughs> feeling such excitement over something, I was like, wow, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> And you can't ignore that, you know? When you feel like that, something that's such a calling like that, you know? I think you're doing a disservice to the world if you don't jump after that, right? So, um... So yeah, all this to say... Woo! <laughs> all this to say, I'm taking immersion, it's coming, I'm joining a study group, I'm doing <laughs> all the... I'm gonna jump into this 100% completely. I'm going to fully immerse myself in the experience because this is something I want. This is a dream that I have and this is an avenue that Bonnie has created to to get there, you know? I don't have to flounder for a year or for two years or for three years. I can do this and take actionable steps toward this dream that I'm, I've had and towards this life that I want to live. So <laughs> plenty of updates to come on that. I am going to continue my Big Goals Little Steps series, of course, and so I, you know, in that series I will be giving immersion updates and I'll also be talking about the other business things that I'm doing, like building my website and my branding and all of that kind of stuff too, which is actually part of immersion as well. So anyway, updates to come, but I may do some standalone videos like this too, just about immersion, to kind of show the progress that I'm making and Hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to show a big difference in kind of where my art and my patterns are at the beginning and then where they are at the end. Something I'll say before I kind of wrap this up is that one of the big things that was holding me back from like taking the plunge over the past week is that immersion is fully taught in Adobe Illustrator. and. Illustrator is a vector-based program. A ton, there's a ton of benefits to using that. But I found that in my patterns that I've been creating so far, like I'm really interested in capturing the like watercolor and hand-painted essence of my paintings. When you vectorize your paintings, there are things that you can do to kind of get that watercolor look in some ways. And there's, I know Bonnie's gonna teach more about it in the class too, so maybe I'll learn better ways than what I know. But still, I mean, they're vectors. It's gonna. It's not gonna look like your hand-painted elements. And so because of that, I've been leaning a lot towards Photoshop. Um, and even just yesterday, I learned some awesome, awesome new techniques for creating patterns in Photoshop. So I was hesitant because I was like, do I want to create vector art or do I want to really lean into this Photoshop world? But what what I've realized is that like, <laughs> why not both? <laughs> like, I think that having proficiency in Photoshop and Illustrator is gonna be wildly important for me as I go down this path. And I think also there's gonna be translatable skills between the two. Like they're both Adobe programs and having a solid understanding of Illustrator already. I mean, what I've learned from Illustrator has already helped me a lot in Photoshop and vice versa. Like just knowing kind of the 
overarching Adobe language is, is helpful. So that was the thing that kind of held me back a little bit. Obviously I have committed to it now and so updates to come on like how that changes for me, where I go in that front and everything like that. So anyway, with that, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you for watching this. If you found this because you are also in immersion, um, immersion 2023, or maybe later down the line, you're considering joining immersion for a future year. I would love to hear from you. If you're joining this year, let me know. I am super curious to, you know, get to know everybody and connect with folks however I can. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of my progress there, especially in my Instagram stories. I'm on there all the time showing my pattern making journey. And so my handle for that is just Pepo Studios. So with that, thank you for <laughs> going through this like emotional journey with me. I have never ever cried on a YouTube video before, so check that one off the list, I guess. <laughs> but I will keep you updated on this journey, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care, everyone.